every computer game that you've decided to play, every simulation that you might have seen, pretty much every computer program features some form of abstraction. And without it, no computer program would ever get made. Why is it so important then? Well, let's just cover a definition. What is abstraction? It's removing unnecessary detail from a problem that we're trying to solve with a computer program. And what I'm going to do first is take you away from computer science a bit and just show you how this works in drawing because it's, it, the, you know, the idea holds up. So I'm going to give myself about 10 seconds to draw a cat. So here we go. There's my cat. All right. Now, as you see, I'm not the, the world's most, I'm going to add a mouth there. I'm not the world's best drawer. You can, you can see that. But if I showed that picture to somebody um, and I asked them what it is, they would probably say it's a cat, even though it looks nothing like an actual cat. I mean, compare the two. There is a very real difference between uh, these two pictures. But... The reason why we'd probably recognize this as a cat still is because it's got some key features. So it's got the pointy ears, for example, it's got whiskers, uh, it's got four legs, it's got a tail, it's got eyes, it's got a nose. So if my problem is to draw a picture of a cat, then I'm going to do the one on the left hand side because I can draw that one much faster. I've removed a lot of unnecessary detail and it's simpler to do. There's just simply less to draw. So let's give you sort of a real uh, example of this, of how this has worked, maybe in creating a computer game. Uh, it's very easy to sort of pick out abstraction in simulations um, and in computer games because we think about, okay, what is the difference between what I'm seeing now and the real world? So the game you're seeing on the on the right uh, is called Roller Coaster Tycoon. It's an old game. I've deliberately picked an old one uh, because I know it will have a lot of extraction in it. And the theme and the idea of this game is building your own theme park. So if I'm using abstraction, I've got to ask, okay, what are the important things? What do I keep in? But what am I going to abstract out? What has been abstracted? What have I removed from real life, which I don't have in this game that you see on the right? And you can see, you can probably, if you think about it, a heck of a lot, actually. You might see we've got like things like roller coasters and stuff like that, but we haven't got things, I don't know, let's just start off with things like insects. There's not, no insects in that game that you can see. Okay, we've got crowds of people and things like that in it, but we haven't got any sort of simulation of any sort of weather that I can see. I can't see any clouds or any sort of rain. So these are decisions, deliberate design decisions that somebody has made to remove from the game. Why do we do it then? There's, there's a few different reasons for this. Well, if you imagine that you had to make a game about a theme park, but you had to make it as close close to real life as possible, it would take a lot longer. So it's the length of time it takes to develop a solution. That's why we use abstraction. It reduces the length of time uh, taken to develop a particular solution. This is because we're naturally making our problem less complex, and that is a huge one. So it's easier to solve because the problem is less complex. I've got less to have to worry about. Uh, and also, if we think about it, that makes it more likely for a project or a game to succeed. Simply because now I'm looking at a development time of maybe a couple of years as opposed to a couple of decades. I mean, a lot can go wrong in that time, but this is a big one as well. If I decided to try and model everything in the real world down to all the air molecules moving about uh, that theme park, I would struggle to find a computer to actually run it. So when we use abstraction, we also use it to make the program we are creating require less resources on the computer. And that is things like, yes, CPU and memory in the main. So they're, you know, they're the, the solid reasons for using abstraction is we always have to use it at some point um, for computer programs. It's just this idea of removing unnecessary detail. Hope you enjoyed my cat picture. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.